Do they know? Hey, y'all, this is Brent Perry with Business on Purpose. Welcome back. So, do they know? And maybe a better question is, who are they and what do they need to know? So, today, let's talk about your employees. Basically, what we want to know is, are your employees, do they know what is going on inside of your head? Or a better question may be, are you on the same page? So I just finished a call earlier this week with a client of mine. He's a builder. And for the first time since we've been working together, we got his project manager on the call with us. Uh, not the first time I've heard about this project manager, but it was the first time that he was able to join us. Because really, I I've heard about him a, a lot. I've written his name down in our coaching notes a lot. I have taken calls from my clients about this PM a lot. Uh, by now, you probably see where I'm going with this. Uh, my client, he's incredibly good at what he does. This project manager is really good and capable at his job as well. But there was just something off in their relationship. Something was missing. I don't know if you remember uh, the little rascal scenes where I uh, uh, alfalfa's walking up, buckwheat's walking down, and they just keep missing each other. That's kind of how their relationship felt. So uh, the work they were doing was inefficient. Uh, they were slow to complete jobs. Uh, a job or two that they had done had to be revisited because of some simple oversights. And uh, for some of you builders out there, this one probably hit home. The amount of Lowe's trips that they shared to me that they had to keep going back to was just simply baffling. It was mind-blowing. Again, these two guys, they know what they're doing, but the misses that they were experiencing was costing the company time and money. So the question that we had to answer together is, what do we do? So we chatted for a bit, and it just became clear that these two were just not on the same page. Now, if this story sounds familiar at all, it's because at some point or another, you as a business owner, you've probably felt this way. Actually, it's probably hard to imagine if you haven't felt this way before. We have been there. You have been there. Um, so if you've been listening to Business on Purpose via coaching or podcasts, YouTube, etc., you've heard us say that 2022 is going to be a year of flourishing. It's our theme. Part of flourishing is being on the same page with your people. It's essential not only to your business, just as importantly, it is essential to you. Now, this client that I've been talking about, I know without a shadow of a doubt, he is indeed going to flourish in 2022. But for this to happen, he and his project manager are going to have to get on the same page. So what's the first step in that we pointed him towards? You've probably heard us say this before, and you might have been able to guess it. It is his vision. You must be able to. No, no, you, you have to communicate the vision of your business with your employees. It is crucial. But how do you do that? And you've heard us say this before, but I believe it now more than ever is simple. Weekly team meetings. They are a must. Now, uh, I've been working with a couple guys who aren't clients of ours currently, and I was asking some questions, and one of the first ones I always love to ask is, are you holding weekly team meetings uh, with your employees, with your team? And uh, a few of them answered no, and I was like, well, like, hit me, why? And a few of the excuses I heard over the past few weeks were, um, uh, one, I just don't have the time, me personally. I, I can't make more space in my calendar to do team meetings. Two, my employees, they just won't show up. I can put it on the calendar, but there's always excuses. And then three, they don't seem to be effective when we've tried to have them in the past. So let me stop this right there because what I truly believe and what I've witnessed, if you are running a weekly effective team meeting, these excuses do not make any sense. Uh, and that's where Business on Purpose would love to help come alongside of you. Uh, we have a template ourselves that we actually follow. We don't just tell people, hey, we believe in weekly team meetings. Every Tuesday morning, we gather as a team, both collectively and for those of us who are working remotely in different cities, virtually, we all get together and we go through the exact same template 
that we share with you all about how to run an effective team meeting. We would love to help you with that. Uh, we would love to hear your feedback. What are some of the things that you have seen work well in your team meetings that you've been running? Because we know that they are crucial. We know um, that they can take your business to that next level once you start uh, vocalizing and communicating and showing the team your vision in a weekly manner that is consistent and effective. Uh, as we're, uh, I don't know when you're listening to this right now, what I was going to say was as we're moving into a new year, we're about to start 2022. Again, we want you to flourish and we would love to see team meetings become a staple of what you and your company are building. Uh, I would say this, you will not regret it when you really dive in and when you really spend the time, energy, and effort to make this possible. Hey, y'all, thank you for listening. If you haven't done so already, I mentioned it earlier, please subscribe to our podcast or our YouTube channel. Uh, we have world-class content coming out from our Business on Purpose coaches every single week. We are grateful for y'all. We hope 2021 has been a good year, and we're excited to launch into this next year with you. Thanks again, y'all.